All right, back in the basement again today, and I figured I'd walk you through my competition gym bag. So I have a meet coming up. I change equipment here and there. I figured I'd just walk you through what I'm bringing for this instance of USAPL Open World. So it's going to be happening June 30th is when I'm competing in Albany, New York. Looking forward to it. Just to get on the platform, it has been since Raw Nationals, which was in September. So it's been like nine months. So let's just go ahead and get through it. Not any really particular order to this, but it is what it is. So let's start here with probably one of the most important things, as I say, no particular order, and that is my belt. So I'm bringing my 13 millimeter Pioneer belt, which has the adjustable lever system on it. I like this a lot, especially when I'm traveling, because as my weight kind of goes up and down, especially with not knowing where I'm getting my food from, if I'm eating out, maybe more sodium than usual, whatever the case may be, these micro adjustments can really help. So definitely bringing this belt, white on the outside, and the black, there is no tomorrow on the inside. And of course, my back or behind is always protected by the naked squatter. Take that for what you will. Just diving in here next, I have a shaker. So I always pack one shaker and I actually preload it with pre-workout, in this case creatine as well, I put it in a plastic baggie just so there's no mess, no spill, whatever the case may be. Especially if you're going through an airport, putting your stuff in little baggies, labeling it really helps getting through security and things like that. But this also makes it really easy at the time of competition, just pour some water in and I'm good to go. I also have here some headphones. These are just uh, Studio Beats by Dre, I think. I don't actually like the full over the ear earphones too much. I get really hot with this, but in a meat situation, these are helpful because they're Bluetooth. I can stream from my phone, which I can just leave in my bag. And also they really block out the noise really well, which helps me focus on things to do. Now with these, I'll only really wear these ones if I have a handler at my meat, just because I wanna be able to also pay attention to what's going on and when I have to lift. And if I'm by myself and I'm zoned out in music, could be a potential bad time, but headphones is a must. I also have just some regular, these are like crew socks. So I've been going no-show the last couple of meets or knee socks, so I figured I'd compromise and meet in the middle. So I'll probably be wearing these for most of my lifts outside of deadlifts. For deadlifts, I just have some knee-high A7 socks. These are just black with some gray accents on it because they're going to actually go in line with everything else that I'm wearing, one of which you won't see, which are my big old granny panties. These things are huge, but they're black, so they're not tidy whities they're ballsy blackies. I don't know what you wanna call them. They don't make this brand anymore, I got off on Amazon, but it's nice because they're comfortable and they have a lot of coverage area. A lot of times with briefs, I find they're cut really narrow, so they're either riding up your junk or riding up your crack, which when you're lifting and wanna be comfortable as possible, especially when you're not wearing much, doesn't help. So I like those a lot, I've been wearing those for a couple of years now, which I normally wouldn't recommend for underwear, but since I've only competed like once or twice a year for the past 10 years, I've only really worn those like 20 times. So that's fair wear in my opinion. The singlet of choice today, this is probably the hottest debate and topic. What singlet should I go with? I'm going to be rocking this Pioneer one. My friends over at Pioneer do a lot for me. I thought it'd be nice to kind of represent them on the platform. I also do like this color scheme. It's a, a black and gray material. Uh, it's made by Nightmare Muscle. I would put this singlet kind of like a hybrid between the A7 singlets and the SBD singlet. So it's like a medium weight singlet. I like it a lot. One of the things I like about this, which is hopefully gonna help me, is the side panels on here, which you can see are gray, are actually the same actual uh, length consistently. And what I mean by that is you take a look at A7, the A7 ones like bow out as you get towards the hip, which I don't like because if you're squatting, and you're a borderline squatter like I am, and you have that bow out, it might actually throw some judges' perception off of where your hip crease is. So this hopefully should help me kind of advocate for my hip crease and my squats. I then have a brand new fresh from the drop we did a couple of months ago, the drop, I'm fancy now. The A7 meat competition shirts, I save myself a large size. I normally wear XL, this is a large, so it's tighter which for me under singlet is nice because you're not gonna get a bunch of bunching up, folding over. It's not gonna be billowy coming out of the armpit area or anything like that. So nice tight fit. And the reason I like the A7 competition shirts is because they're a blend. They have a little bit of spandex in them, but they're also not a light material. So they're a little bit thicker than a normal T-shirt, but they're still soft and they're stretchy. So you get that thickness, which is gonna protect your back from the barbell and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's gonna be a nice comfortable fit, which I really like. For the wrist wraps, I'm rocking these 
Pioneer ones, these are their new version. These are the medium ones and I got them kind of customized. So number one, they say bar don't lie on them, but also the way that I got these cut, I'll show you really quick and I owe you a video on some of this stuff. I basically asked them to mimic the phantom wraps that they used to make, um, both with the double patches here, um, with both ends squared off and just the big overall loop here. These are 30 inches, uh, so kind of customized in that regard. The only thing you can't customize on these wraps is the color, which I wish was an option because I'd probably get these in black, but uh, I like these wrist wraps a lot, obviously, and that's why I'm bringing them to my competition. Speaking of Pioneer, I'll also be rocking their knee sleeves. Again, for me and stiff sleeves or knee sleeves in general, a cone shape generally fits my leg shape the best. Um, these are a somewhat of a newer pair, so I upgraded my other ones that I got when they first released probably like two or three months ago, but I've only been using these for heavier sets, so they're a little bit more fresh, more springy. Uh, they also don't have a lot of markings or chalk or anything, so you can tell that they're newer, so hopefully a little bit more pop, uh, but I will be wearing these on the platform for squats. Um, speaking of squats, one of the things that's gonna be a little bit different is I will be wearing a heeled shoe this time. So in the last couple of weeks, I've gone back to heels just because again, some issues that have popped up with my back and just my overall mechanics on squatting have been a little bit wonky. I've been struggling to hit depth. I feel like heels give me just a little bit more of an advantageous position. So I'll be rocking these. These ones are the tier L1 lifters. I've had the white pair for a long time. I recently bought these, recently as in I just got these this week. These are marketed as the extra wide version. So the original L1 lifters are supposed to be wide. These are supposed to be wider. I have some questions and doubts about that and I have some questions out to tier uh, about these, but I will be rocking these on the platform. Again, I like the color combination here, black with just a hint of white. And also there's a little bit of red in there, uh, so it pops out. The last thing here in my meat bag that I have is a pair of Notorious Lift slippers. So last meet, I wore Tolos for all three lifts. I love my Tolos, I still train them a lot. I wear them outside the gym, but for this meet, I'm going with heels for squats, for just positioning, and I'm going for just slippers here because I feel like that's going to be even more minimal, as minimal as possible uh, to the Tolos, and these are a little bit flatter where the Tolos tend to round up on the edges, like for any type of lateral movement, so I just feel like for this meet, these ones make more sense, taking it back to my roots, and that's it. That's in my competition gym bag. Let me know what I forgot. Ammonia, don't use it. Chalk, I use the ones of the meat. Baby powder, don't use it in training, so I don't oftentimes use it in a meat situation. Sometimes I'll throw it on, but not usually. Uh, mouth guard, don't wear. Uh, but those are some of the things you might see in other people's gym bags. Let me know what you have in yours in the comment section below. And in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.